Hello everyone and welcome to the DPP Podcast. I'm your host Ryan Mondes. This is episode number 298 for September 19th, 2023. Welcome to the Disney Pins Blog Podcast. The latest news on Disney pin trading and collecting from around the world. Welcome back to the show everyone. Hope you guys are doing well. Kind of a uh, light week for pin news, except for Box Lunch. They were very heavy this past week on the pin releases. Uh, before we get into that, I do have one thing for housekeeping, and that is our September giveaway is now live. You can head over to DisneyPinsBlog.com slash giveaways. This month we are giving away the Autumn 2023 Big Hero 6 pin, as well as a Hocus Pocus Candle Lounge Fly pin. Winner receives both. And that giveaway ends this Saturday night. All right, now onto the pin news. First, I want to start off with Shop Disney. They had their next release in the Disney 100 Decades collection. This one features the Disney Afternoon. This is also available at Disney Parks. It is the eighth release in this collection, and it features the 1990s. Limited release retail price is $34.99, and it has a really nice pin-on-pin design. That released on Monday, September 18th. Next at Shop Disney was a D23 Gold Member exclusive for Loki Season 2. It is a hinge pin, limited edition of 1000 Retail price is $24.99. And then lastly at Shop Disney was the ninth pin in the Foodies Collection. This one features Donald Duck. And it is inspired by Walt Disney's Three for Breakfast cartoon. Limited edition of 4500 retail price $19.99. That released on Tuesday, September 19th. All right, next up is Box Lunch, the largest selection of pin releases for the week. First up, they had Nightmare for Christmas 30th Anniversary pins. First, there's a Jack and Sally single pin, and it also features Zero. And then there was a Nightmare for Christmas 30th Anniversary Retro Cars Blind Box pin set. Six different pins there. Retail price, $9.90 per pin. Next, there was a new Ferris Wheel Characters Spinning Blind Box pin set. Six different pins here. Characters are inspired by Pooh Bear, Patch, Stitch, Alice, Marie, and Pinocchio. One randomly selected pin per box. Retail price is $14.90. Next, there was a Disney Princess Sneakers Blind Box Pin Set. This one is $10.90 per box, and the sneakers are themed after Cinderella, Ariel, Belle, Aurora, Jasmine, and Snow White. Next at Box Lunch, they had a bunch of new Disney 100 character pins that released. There's a Sleeping Beauty Aurora pin, Little Mermaid Ariel, Cinderella, Snow White, then one for Alice in Wonderland, 100 Years of Wonder, and then finally the uh, Silly Symphony Three Little Pigs Disney 100 pin. They come on the themed backer card, and the retail price is $10.90 each. Next, there was a new Star Wars The Mandalorian Grogu pin release at Box Lunch. This one also features a spinning element with various frogs. Retail price for that is $14.90. Then there was a new Turning Red pin featuring May in the red panda costume. Price on that one is $9.90. And then finally there was an Encanto candle pin at Box Lunch. Price on that one is $9.90 as well. So yeah, lots of new pins at Box Lunch. Next up is Hot Topic. They had their first Christmas pin releases of the season. It is a Lilo and Stitch pin set, and they are wearing Santa hats. Price on that is $12.90 for that true pin set. Next up is Amazon. They had a continuation of the Disney 100 stained glass jumbo pin series. The two additional pins feature Alice and Ariel. Limited edition of 500. Retail price is $40 each. Those are available at Amazon while supplies last. We do have links in the blog post if you guys want to purchase. Next up is ourselves at DPP Store. We had a new Artland release featuring Scrooge McDuck. It's limited edition of 200. At the time of this recording, it is still available, but I think there are just a few left. 
We also have a bunch of new Disney Parks pins that have been added to the store. And then this Thursday we will have a new Halloween pin release at DBB Store. Alright, next up is Pink Alamode. They had a Christmas pin release already. Part of their stained glass collection. There are four releases here. Limited edition of $325 each. Characters feature Santa Mickey, Santa Minnie, Huey Dewey and Louie, and Scrooge McDuck. And those are three inches in size. And finally, we have Disney Parks. There are new Muppets Open Edition pins that released. First one features Fozzie Bear and Kermit with the Muppets logo. This one is $14.99. And then there are three character pins featuring Kermit, Miss Piggy, and Animal. Those are all $11.99. Then there was another new Open Edition pin. This one just at Walt Disney World. Spotted this one today at Epcot. It is a replica of the Walt the Dreamer statue coming to Epcot. It's open edition. Retail price is $14.99. And I found that one in the Creation Shop. Then we have the new limited edition pins this week at Disney Parks. First up, there was an exclusive at Disneyland. It is the ninth pin in the Metal Magic collection. This one features Belle from Beauty and the Beast. Limited edition of $2,500. Retail price $19.99. And then we have these shared pin releases on both coasts. There was the ninth release in the Disney Arcade collection as well. This one features the Jungle Book. Limited edition of $4,000. Retail price $19.99. And then lastly were the next releases in the Marvel First Appearance Heroes and Villains collection. The Heroes pin features Daredevil. And the Villains pin features Spider-Man. Both of those are limited edition of $2,000, retail price $19.99 each, and they're available on both coasts. Alright, so that's going to do it for your September 2023 Week 3 Disney Pin News. Thank you guys very much for listening and watching. Hope you have a great rest of your week. See ya.